Uh, hello, today I'm going to try to show you how to do a, um, how to find the area of a rectangle where, where you get length and width using the Raptor program. The Raptor is a pretty cool program, it lets you do calculations and other stuff. And um, so here's the operations that you can do, or operators. Does it call it here in Raptor? Uh, and we're just going to do find the area of a rectangle. So we begin by getting an input, and I'm going to bring my other Raptor program that I've already completed to my right side of the screen, so that way I can see this a little better. And. Um, so let's save now. So I'm going to save it. I'm just going to call it, call it a YouTube. Just YouTube. And I've already done it for three different shapes. So for one for a square, one for a circle, and one for a triangle. For the square, I also added a different option. Like if they wanted to do the rectangle, which um, that's what I'm going to show you. And it just basically gets the first side or the length and then gets it prompts the user to get the, the width and the program just gets those two numbers multiplies them and then outputs the data that's pretty pretty much it so that's what we're going to do <clears throat> so we're gonna prompt the user to enter the the, the length so enter the length And we're gonna call this just side one, S1 for side one. And then we're going to make this a little waterproof. In other words, we're going to make sure that the user actually entered a number. So we're going to say is number variable. The variable is S1. That's why I like the S1 because it's just really short. So is it a number? If it's a no, it's going to bring it down here and it's just going to loop. Is it a number? No. So we're going to tell the user to make sure to to um, to actually put a number in. So we're going to say, please use a number for the length. Or we can actually... Um, Put a little exclamation point, <clears throat> and so this is going to be S1 again for the variable. Done. So let's just test this real quick. Enter the length, and we're going to say blah 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 nothing, right? Is that a number? No, and then it says right here, please use a number for the length. Exclamation point. So we'll just say three, right? Is it a number? Yes, and the program finishes because we haven't really programmed anything so that's cool now we're going to get that length and then we're going to get another input for the width and we're going to type in please enter the width of the rectangle and you have to do quotation marks in the beginning, quotation marks in the end. And we're going to do S2 for side 2. And we're going to do the same thing, a little loop, to make sure that the user actually entered a number. So we're going to say is number, and it's already highlighted for us here. And it'll be S2. So is number S2. So it, it's asking <coughs> if it's actually a number. If it's not a number, it's going to loop again and again and again. So if somebody writes a one, then like the number one, and then puts a letter, it's gonna say no. It's because it's not a number. It has characters like the alphabet, and it's just gonna repeat it. So we're gonna get another input. We'll just tap it in there, and double click it, quotation marks, and say, please, oops, please use numbers. And then say again, please enter, please use numbers, enter 
the what was it? The the wit something like that, and then we're gonna s two for the variable. So if is it enough? If so, if the users let's just test it here. We can watch it. So enter the length, and length is five. Place into the width of the rectangle. And we're gonna say nothing, right? Just to try to test it. No, see there's no. And it just doesn't it doesn't doesn't wanna let us through unless there's an actual number. If we type the letter like one as in one O N E, it still doesn't do that. So we're just gonna type in uh, five. So that's our program is almost complete, see? Now we actually have to assign S1 and S2. So the way we do this is just double tap the as the statement or the assignment. We're going to say that, that this is the area, and we're going to get S1 times S2. That's pretty simple. Area equals like S1 times S2, something like that. You get it. And now we're going to do an output, and this is very simple. So we're going to say something like the the length. Okay, we can like always um, use these numbers again, like the variables s1 and s2. So we can use those numbers in our out output as well. So like the length is in quotation marks plus. S1 the length or we can say the length of the length of blank so it could be the length of 5 and, and another plus sign quotation marks and and quotation marks plus um, plus S2 and then plus quotation marks start so it's the length of five. We can say the length of five, and well we can actually write down here and the width of blank number two, side two is, and then we can finish that off is plus, and we're going to do the area of the other variable. So S1 times S2 equals the area. So we're gonna say plus area. And if I did it right, it should let me finish. There we go. So we can go ahead and test it. Let's just enter letters. Is it a number? No, it comes back around and says, please use numbers, or not, please use a number for the length. So we'll go and write 34. And please enter the width of the rectangle. We'll say mm, just letters again and test it. And it doesn't work. Please use numbers. Enter the width. So we're going to do 23. And then is it a number? Yes. So it goes on forward. And this is the output that we were writing down here. So the length of 34 and the width of 23 is 782. So 34 and 23. If you want to really test it, you can always go to the... Uh, to Google or something or use their own calculator. 34 and 23. 34 and 23 is 782. We'll go back to our little program here. And uh, let me get the window again. 782. Is that what I got? 782, yes. I mean, it's just a pretty cool program. And, and this has been a tutorial how to do width and length with the Raptor. Thanks for watching.